for you all. The name of this series is Marion 2019. In the beginning, we see the main character Emma, who was a famous writer. There was a witch whose name was Marion. Emma used to write stories about her. People used to like her stories a lot, and that's why Emma was so famous. She had been doing this work for many years, but now she stops writing stories about Marion. Because now she felt that, I should write something good instead of such drama stories. She had only written in her book that, Marion used to come in her dreams and depict her, and her story had become very famous. This book had earned a lot of money, but often Emma gets very upset thinking about her old life, after which she drinks a lot. The girl who works with her, who was also a very good friend of hers, takes a lot of care of Emma. Now here we come to know one more thing, that Marion used to come in Emma's dreams herself, which used to scare her a lot. It is very common for a writer to meet people and sign their books. Similarly, one day when Emma was doing all this, a girl comes to her who was a very big fan of hers. She says that Marion has come into this world. She has put my mom in her control, because of which Emma is now a threat to you and your loved ones. If you stop writing about Marion, everyone will die. The thing to note here was that, this boy's mother was scaring Emma in her dreams, because her soul was inside her. Then Emma does not believe these things, so that girl herself ended to prove her point, and also leaves a locket saying that give it to my mom. After this incident, Emma was worried worried about her own mom and dad. She calls her home but no one picks up the phone, because she had been living alone for many years and did not go home. Now she gets a little worried about this. She goes to her town with her companion, and the next morning she goes to meet the fan's mom who died mysteriously. Coming here, Emma came to know that, Marion's soul is really inside that girl's mom, who tells Emma that you will have to keep writing about me. If you do not do this, it will not be good. I will kill your mom and dad. Now here Emma meets her childhood friends, who were meeting Emma after many years. Emma loved these four friends a lot, but now she does not write anything. So her mom and dad disappear which was Marion's job. Marion's soul used to control everyone. Here we are shown a bag made of leather, which means that wherever she is, she will keep everyone under her control. Emma starts writing her story again, and whatever she was writing, everything was becoming true. Immediately after which Emma's mom came back to her home but her condition was very bad. Emma was in Marion's custody, but her dad was still missing, because Marion wanted Emma to keep writing about him. Here an inspector helps her, who knew about black magic very well, and Emma had a very good friend, but the strange thing was that Marion could also control people's minds, and she could show whatever she wanted. Now as soon as Emma comes to this town, we understand what happened, and why she used to come in Emma's dreams again and again. So Marion was born on Tuesday in 1587, and when she was seven years old, her house was burned to ashes, from where only Marion and her cat came out. Then her sister raised Marion, but that place also ended soon. Here the strange thing was that everyone died. Only Marion and her cat survived. Then at the age of 17 she got married but her cat was very close to the fire, because of which she was burnt to death. Then she had two more children, but one day she took them to the deep forest, but when she came back, she had no children with her. She was alone, which meant that Marion must have killed her too. She did a very dangerous thing. She slit her husband's throat, and many adults and children were killed. Then everyone put a cross on her and killed her. But Marion had a promise that she would never give up. In the future, I will come again and trouble you and your children, because I never go empty-handed. I always take something with me. So now she was buried 15 feet under the ground, and she buried the agreement she had married the demon, so that she could be burned. When Marion failed to burn the agreement, she was buried. That is, Marion was never finished properly. Her grave was right in front of Emma's house. That's why Emma went to her once in her childhood where there was a small tunnel. When she looked inside the tunnel, she heard a strange voice, that Marion wants to come to the world through her. That is, Marion had chosen Emma, that she will bring her back to this world. So when she grew up a little, she told her friends about all this, all of them together at night. She cast a spell to call Marion's soul, in which she was successful, but Marion's soul comes inside Emma and scares everyone, because of which one of her friends was very scared. And Emma also stops talking. Now when Marion's soul came inside her, she said to Emma's friends that, those whom you love are in danger from me. So she goes to her younger sister in school, so that she can talk through her, in which Marion came and killed her friend's sister. And Emma had seen all this with her own eyes, but Emma did not tell anyone about this, because she was very scared because of this incident. Emma goes to the church and meets her father. The father tells her that Marion's soul has joined you, and she will not leave you so easily. And she started doing bad things in her town, because of which her parents sent her out. And then she became a famous writer. And because of her past, she was always under the influence of alcohol. Now the story comes again in the present time. Till now Emma was suffering from the pain of her friend's sister's death. 
The surprising thing here was that Marion's soul had been after Emma for the past 15 years. She was scaring her. The person who wrote about her was no one else but Emma. Emma did not write all this thinking. In fact, all this was her dream, which she had written in the form of stories. Now Emma goes to the fangirl's mother and tries to kill her, because she had Marion's soul inside her. But Emma's inspector friend forbids her to do this. Marion's soul inside the fangirl's mother tells Emma, if you do not write a book about me, your mom will die red. When Emma goes home and sees, her mom was dead. So she goes to that girl's mom and tries to kill her again. But this time she saves Emma's companion, because of which Marion's soul had left that woman's body. And while going, she also harms Emma's companion. The inspector found Emma's dad. He takes her to the hospital. Here we find out one more thing that, when Marion comes into someone's body and goes back, then she takes something from that person's body. For example, before leaving that woman's body, she took her eyes and blinded her. Emma now meets that woman again who had become normal. She says that you have to keep writing about her. If you stop writing, she will kill everyone. Or like me, everyone will be harmed. After hearing all this, Emma was very worried. On the other hand, the inspector did a good job of this case. He meets Emma and tells her that the stories you have written in your book, you have killed the baseball team. Everyone had to say that we heard the songs while speaking, which meant that Marion was making Emma write all these stories, by which all this used to be true in the real world. It used to happen that whoever used to read about Marion, he used to dream about her. The more you dream about her, the more powerful Marion will be and the rest of the people who used to die. They used to get the same power. And in this way, Marion had joined himself with Emma. Here Emma's inspector friend plans that. All of us together will call Marion Witch by her real name Marion, by which she will have to come, because the witch cannot deny her real name. But Marion had stolen the children of Emma's two friends, so that she can blackmail Emma. All her friends go back to the same lighthouse where she had called Marion 15 years ago, by doing magic. Now before that, as soon as she called her again, she came inside Emma's companion, which was in the hospital, which Emma had also seen there. But then she calls her friend Marion, and she leaves Emma's companion. Their plan was that when she comes here, they will imprison her soul inside the dock and tie it somewhere, so that she does not harm anyone else. But Marion was very clever. She comes inside the inspector and kills him, and also Emma's one more friend. Now all Emma's friends wanted her to keep writing about Marion, so that everyone's life is saved. Now Emma's male friend comes, whom she loves, and these two spend the night together. But when it is morning, there was no one there. Then the bell rings, when Emma goes and sees, it was a church father at the door, to whom she shows the sign of the cross, because of which Emma was scared. She then started hitting him, because of which Emma's mouth started bleeding. She quickly goes to her room. The father tells her that today is Tuesday, and again Marion has been born, and that you are Emma. Marion is in your body, but she refuses to believe this. But when the father asks her that you are Marion, she says yes. Marion's soul comes inside Emma. She also harms the father. In the whole story, we have been shown that whoever has Marion in his body, he cannot deny the fact that he is not Marion because Marion's soul has come inside him, who now wanted to go to hell with him. She takes Emma to her grave. She finds Marion's dead body. She tells Emma to come with me to my world. In the real world, Emma's friend understood that she was in danger. She goes to Emma's house and puts a powerful locket around her neck, which could save her life, because Emma's body was in this world. Because of this, Helmy Emma refuses to go with her. That means Emma had come to her senses. Emma wanted to kill herself, so that along with her, Marion also dies. But Marion was stopping her. There, the father also wanted to go to Marion's grave and set it on fire, so that he could save Emma. There, Marion's world was in hell. Emma also had a baseball bat. The father also sets fire to Marion's grave. But Marion's soul had pulled him inside in which Marion's soul burns and dies. Along with that, the father is also killed. Emma's dad was completely fine. His relationship with Emma had become very good, which was not before today. Emma also got her companion back, but her speaking power was gone. Emma meets her male friend and tells him about that night, that you came and we spent the night together. But he is surprised to hear this, because he had not come. He got angry and he left from here. Here Emma gets very worried. She asks her companion that did Marion take you to the Black Sea, so she did not say anything. But suddenly she says that yes, I have also seen her. Emma is surprised and asks again. She brings a pregnancy kit for her, to check if she is going to become a mother. Emma says, what a joke. Nothing like that can happen. I am not married. But when she tests, she was really going to become a mother. Now there can be two reasons for her becoming a mother. It is possible that the demon came in the form of Emma's friend that night. 
He stayed with Emma that night because he wants to bring Marion back to life. And Marion is in Emma's stomach. The second reason may be that that night Marion herself send it to Emma so that Emma's stomach is the second birth of Marion. Means he is born from Emma. Because from the beginning he chose Emma. What do you think? Do tell us in the comment section. And with this scene and suspense, this series ends here. Thanks for your time. <laughs>